guys. I'm here with Terry, Mr. Beefcake Reeves, a uh, longtime supporter of SVTP, and uh, we're back taking a look at his car. He's going to take us through just a few things. Uh, I know a lot of guys have been talking about like 10R80 versus 6R80, you know, which is better for drag racing. And honestly, uh, if it's set up properly, either one's great. Yeah. Uh, just, you know, it's like everything else, it all has its limitations. But uh, Terry's running the 10R80 in his car and it gets down the track. So just uh, tell us a little bit about what's going on with it. Well, right now we've got a BL Fab single turbo kit, with a 94 100 Jose uh, forced induction turbo on it. Uh, on the dyno at 32 pounds, it made 1,358 wheel. We're not throwing all that at it early in the run. We launch on about 19 pounds, then we have 24, then we, we start ramping it in. But the 10R80, I actually, I like the transmission. I mean, there's still stuff that we're figuring out on it, but we've got 24 passes since we refreshed it last time. And I've probably got, you know, 300 passes on this transmission overall and still have not broke a hard part in it. We've replaced clutches in it. Uh, that's about it. Uh, we are, we've got the big Suncoast kit with the modified drum. Uh, Junior has the tune working pretty good on it. You know, every once in a while it gets a little finicky, but overall it does pretty good. You know, we got, we got 24 passes on the transmission uh, and it doesn't seem like it's missing a beat. We do have a couple little things we're trying that we haven't offered out to the public yet, but next time we pull it out, if everything looks good and some things we'll be rolling out to the uh, end consumer. We're really happy with it though. Uh, 6R80s, obviously we build a ton of those with our partners at Finish Line Performance as well. Brian does a great job on them. Uh, but you do have to throw a lot of hard parts at it other than the clutches. Uh, billet shaft, planetary, one-way clutches, billet sun gear. But uh, you know, I think Lund just yesterday went a 732. So quickest pass ever in a 6R or, uh, 6R80 car. So that's one of the things like we were talking about with the 6R80 versus 10R80. 6R80, you break hard parts. Yeah, you do break part. some hard parts. And 10R80, you've been running, what do you yeah. say, 300 passes on this yeah, thing? Yeah, 300 passes and we haven't ever broken anything. So, uh, we replaced the valve body once, but that's because some of the early, I got an early car, 2017, uh, Ford had some valve body issues, so we replaced the valve body in it. But physical hard parts, we've yet to break anything in this transmission. And it's not like you don't have a setup that couldn't break hard parts. Oh, no, I mean, that no, thing's making some power. I mean, yeah. I mean, we've been uh, 830s in the car. We're running an 860 class right now, uh, you know, and because the transmission now, it won't react like a 400. So we're deep stage in the car, uh, which probably costs us three to four tenths. But even in the heat, cars should be able to run 830s, better air. I'm, I'm hoping for a seven. Uh, car weighs 4,060 pounds with me in it when I weighed it. So it's not light by any means. No. Even though you've got this very nice carbon fiber hood. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but it's yeah. still, it's got the factory power, heated and cooled seats, navigation system, uh, AC on the car. You know, it's got everything on it still, yeah. so. So basically the only issue you really have with these 10Rs, at least for you, is clutches. You know, you just right. have to build it up, just like you would with anything yeah, else. Yeah, but even the 6R80s, we always fresh them up after a season. Anybody that's putting big power, you're still freshing up the clutches in it once a year. Some guys are doing it twice a year. Yeah. So it's not really, it's not really any different in that respect. Yeah, so it's just, it's part of the game, but you know, it's nothing to be afraid of if you build it right. You seem to be having a good luck with it. Yeah, I, I, I think so. And again, the tuner still hate it just because it is a finicky transmission. I uh, just trying to find a happy balance. Now that's for big power. I mean, yeah. if you're putting, you know, a thousand down, 900 down, 800 down, I mean, that should be, it really should be a non-issue. Yeah, but you know, you're Lund tuned, correct? Yes. So yeah. they've got it pretty well dialed in. So. Yeah. I know it might not, like you said, might not be their favorite thing. There's a lot of junk that goes right. on in that tune to make well, this transmission go down I mean, the road. Sometimes you have, from the time the fourth gear shift completes to the time the fifth gear shift completes, that's running through fourth gear, shifting, completing the shift. You're between eight and nine hundredths of a second. Yeah. Sometimes it's eight hundred, sometimes it's nine, sometimes it's eight and a half hundredths, but that's fast. I mean, at, at some point, I think they'll figure out some skip shifts. In all honesty, I don't even think fifth gear is really needed, especially yeah. at this power level. I personally would like to see a two, three, four, six. Yeah. We already launched in second gear. I mean, we've been one, two, sixty puts even at this weight. 
and that's with the second gear leave. Yeah. But it's great to have all those options because not every setup would you'd want to do a two, three, four, six. Maybe right. you would want to do two, three, five. Who knows? Yes. Whatever would work, but depending on your power but, level. But you have that and option. like a centrifugal, for example, like when we had a blower on it. I mean, a blower you want to keep it in those higher gears. But I think really anything higher horsepower would probably benefit from a fifth gear skip. Now, speaking of centrifugals, yeah, I see you got a Vortex hiding back here. That's one of the things you guys are kind of known for is your... Yeah, I'm, so I'm Vortex's largest dealer. Yeah, so your specials you put together too. Yes. Is not just get the blower, but you get everything you need to everything. make that perform to the level that... You know. Our beefcake special package, yeah, pretty much everything that you want. And we, and I mean, we went 860s with that in here. We just, I like to try everything. You know, we had a Centrifco on it for a long time. Now we've got the turbo set up. Uh, you know, I've got a Hemi car with a Vortec on it. We had a truck with a Whipple on it. So the difference is we like to try and install everything. Most guys will tell you there's only one setup. Whatever it is that they make the most money off of or what they have the best relationship with, we really have a good relationship with Vortec and Paxton, Procharger, Whipple, VMP, uh, Edelbrock. You know, we're a top 10 dealer for almost every one of those companies. So. Uh, we really don't force you to do one thing or another. We let you, you know, we give you the pros and cons of each setup, look at the power you're trying to make, how you drive the car, and just make a selection based off that, you know? Yeah, maybe because not a, not one size fits all for everything. Well, so. if one size fit all, there'd only be one company yeah, in that's business. That's right. And it's great that you like to prove out the parts you sell on your cars. Yeah, we so. run we run everything that we sell, and, we, and that's one of the reasons we wanted to, you know, Cy asked me to try out the kit. He said, you know, I know you've been running centrifugal for years, but I'd, I'd like to, I'd like you to try something different. And so, you know, we did. Yeah. And seems to be working pretty well. We're getting down the track. Yeah. Hopefully the track conditions improve a little bit. I know it's been a little slippery out there yesterday and it's getting hot today. So yeah, the only, we, we, all of a sudden we've left, uh, developed an electric gremlin where the computer's just randomly shutting itself off. Sometimes in third gear, sometimes in fifth gear, sometimes not at all. So when we get the uh, when we get the car back this time, we're going to go through all the wiring and everything like that. We did relocate the PCM. It's possible, you know, a piece of solder maybe came loose or something. And that's one of those crazy things that you hate to have to deal with. Oh yeah, that's just part of racing. But as you can hear, the guys behind us are getting fired up. So I think it's about time to cut this one off. I All appreciate right. it. Thanks All for right, talking buddy. to us, man. Thanks, and, uh, If you guys need any parts, hit up Beefcake. www.beefcakeracing.com.